in this little town of ours, there's something nefarious. Oh my god, are you serious? I told you to clean up this pigsty you created before I got home from work. Do you want me to take away your video games? Oh, sorry, Mom. I'll get it done after this last game, I promise. <laughs> eh, I'll get to it when I wake up. For realsies. In this town exists a dark legend that has plagued it for generations. <sighs> Is that you? The legend of the uh. vacuum man. And as the old legend goes, once a year he chooses an unruly child and takes them away. boy that was visited by the vacuum man and survived. I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got in through the kitchen window. The doors and windows were inexplicably locked and my mom and dad were vacuumed. I was never ever so scared of my life, blah, blah, blah. And the... And the only way I was able to get him to go away was to clean my house without being seen. How the hell? I am so screwed. How, how could this kid make this house so dirty? That mother is way too lenient, like seriously. Oh, welcome to, as you could tell, Vaculus. A game of, oh, apparently, a Hideo Kojima designed monster <laughs> that is based on a vacuum monster. Or just, you know, naughty kids kind of old folklore stories to scare kids to do you know, what, what the parents want them to do. Oh, I don't know if many parents do it these days. Probably, but... I, sh I, I just don't know, man. I, it's not like I'd go around fucking talking to kids being like, Do your parents still do this? Don't mind me, fellow kids. But, uh, I don't know, it looked interesting. The demo came out not too long ago. Thought to give it a try. And as the intro always already probably would have convinced people, has a good, uh... uh what, what is it? The Game Store page said, uh... The game, after two years in the making, the demo is born. It's a long demo, anywhere from four min 40 minutes to two hours of heart-pounding gameplay. So, we're gonna have to try to be thorough as usual, but as well as uh, on time, efficient, thorough, and below two hours. Because if you hit the two hour mark, it's either you just really slow the game, you're very thorough, or there's just a crap ton of things to do in the game. I don't know, but uh, this is a survival horror game. Without the blood and gore, so at least I don't have to worry about reporting to YouTube. This video's not violent, YouTube, don't worry about it. Just, there's just this occasional swearing because I can't help myself. But anyway, uh, the game looked interesting. People should probably understand. I'll put a little maybe hints. I don't think I need arrow guides. It'll do some subtitles and uh, high graphics, just in case it isn't already. It's very bright. Interact with. Ugh, no, F, please. Ah, leaning, peeking, maybe it's important. Oh, okay, we'll do normal, whatever. I don't want to get too frustrated in case it's not balanced. In a small rural, not remote rural American town. Mm. Though it's been many years since the previous instance, some still talk about having seen a dark, mysterious figure with a massive metal machine on its arm walking lone neighborhood streets at night. Usually seen shortly before the subsequent disappearance of children. As the rumors and descriptions of the likeness built up through the decades, the town started referring to the dark figure as the Vacuum Man, a demonic being that takes unruly children to another dimension. 
Most believed it a hoax, especially as time passed without any more incidents. However, that did not stop parents from threatening their children with a visit from the vacuum man if they misbehaved. One child, however, is about to learn the truth. Hmm, also, we're getting skipped frames. Shit! Guess I'm gonna have to change to desktop mode. Yeah, it could be a little smoother. Let's see if I can pause. No, I don't want to skip. Fuck. God damn it. Skipped frames. Then I s stealthily clean the house. It's usually the kind of noise moms make in the morning when they're trying to cook themselves at breakfast, right? I'm sure a lot of people understand what the what I mean by that. Typical mom bullshit. Plates and pots and pans clashing loudly, louder than necessary, but they do it anyways. Alright. Just give me one second, I'm gonna change to desktop mode. Okay. Should be good now. Hopefully. As seen in the full version, the boy investigates the sound only to find Vacuum Man in his kitchen. He runs to tell his mother who is asleep. She is skeptical until she too hears the noise, but when she gets up to investigate, the boy hears her getting taken away while she screams. The boy remembers the old legend, stating, stating that getting your house clean is the only way to make the Vacuum Man go away. He understands it is the only possible way to survive. You're now alone and there's no way out. The doors and windows simply will not open. You must clean 21 objects without being caught and you will get a checkpoint every seven. Okay. I don't know how this can be two hours long. Oh, first person as well. Good, good. Okay, um, so how do I clean? Like, let's say... Does this have a spot? fuck is with this arrow? You have a phobia of the dark. All hiding places are dark. Your stress meter... Uh, peek out. Whoa. Wait, one. That hint doesn't seem to be Ryan. Turn it. Weird, the peek out door thing is not even the right resolution. I don't know, whatever. Mom. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so how do we clean the place? Like... Do I, like, put, put it in here or something? Nerf bullets? Markers? I don't... I don't know where any of this shit's going. I don't know how to clean the place. Like, how do I clean? Laptop. <laughs> it's just like a hit F. Yeah, huck it over. Wait, does he, does he literally huck it over? Come on, hold yourself together. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just a laptop. Whatever. Okay, do we have maybe... Like, do I have to intelligently figure out where these go? Like, plates and shit would go in the sink. Um... I closed the door, though. That's a hiding spot. I can't use that. Hmm. I... Honestly do not know. See what's available, I guess, in the house. Like if there's a laundry room specifically. A kitchen for dishes. Let's see. Where, where's the kitchen? We 
We gotta find the kitchen. Like, get, where would I put calculators? Is it, like, the meter, is it telling me where it goes, maybe? But it just, it gets wonky. Is it telling me to look this way? And then it's like, what? And then it's behind me to... I don't know. Oh, laundry room. Okay. No. It's stressing me out. Time to move. Jesus. Is it, is it not going to calm down? Ah, oh, laundry room. Shit. No vacuuming me! Oh god. Ah shit. No, don't vacuum me! Oh no! Shit, I have been vacuumed. <laughs> you were sucked up. Ugh. The only cons consistent way to get away from him while being chased is to hide in a dark place. You can do so in a closet or under a bed. Yeah, I try to get my room. I was just too slow. Okay, can I hold objects and go outdoors? Okay. I just... This, this fucking... This... Arrow guide. If it's an arrow guide. It's... Frustratingly stupid. I just I don't ex I don't understand how it fucking works. I understand the logic of hey, it's a can, so find a recycling bin or something like this shit. I should go in my room. It's just about connecting the dots, but uh. Ah, that's the garage. Yeah, I didn't want to go in here. But, um, yeah, it's... It, is it just telling me where he is? Okay. Nope. Maybe it's just pointing where he's... Oh, jeez. Yeah, well... Uh. Fucking Christ. Alright, maybe it's pointing out where he is. Damn. Yeah, we're learning as we go. I got sucked again. That is some good shit, I will say. Okay. Because when I'm holding this, we have, let's let's just see if we can find him. Because otherwise, I have no idea how exactly the arrow works. It's pointing this way, for instance. So maybe... But then it's like... Now it's this way. It's, and then it's... You, you know what I mean? It makes no fucking sense. It's like, it's like okay, so it's there. But now it's... What? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't understand it. Maybe it's just me being stupid, but it just, Is it just him teleporting? I don't fucking get it. Legit. Unless it's like I'm supposed to... Is 
There's a toy. Jesus. I don't, I don't get how the thing fucking works, but yeah, we gotta keep going and get checkpoints and shit. I don't know where these go, but we know where toys go. Nope. My kids just... Oh. We gotta find out where these things go, like recycling. It could be in the garage. I... Uh, did I... Okay, um... I'm on normal difficulty. The pines made a noise. Like, uh, maybe one thing I would say as a suggestion is make it so you're a, a tutorial where you you get told you only have a certain amount of seconds to turn off the noisemaker. If you fail to do it in time, you oh okay. You can turn it off. I didn't know that. If there was a tutorial in the game letting me know these things, that'd be fantastic. I don't know where each thing goes, unless the developer is intending that to be the case, or, you know, uh, that it's a learning experience that you find out where things go, but otherwise I'm just like, where the fuck does everything go? Because this orange guide, arrow guide, like... I, 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 how does it fucking work, you know? I don't understand it. And the shirt just vanished, okay. Please tell me how the fuck it works. It, I cannot... I cannot see it as actually working. Okay, we know we turn off the fucking noise making. Before shit gets... Ah, oh, for realsies, man! Peak? No. Oh, jeez. Uh. Fuck. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, if you could be told, like, a tutorial where it's like you get to roam around the house, putting things away, being like, hey, this goes here, this goes here, unless the developer intended for it to be completely unknown and alien, just as like, I mean, sure, the cups, dishes in the sink make sense, clothing in the laundry, but scissors? Hmm? I'm gonna assume he knocks the doors to, yeah, okay. So if he's gonna bust in, at least he gives me a bit of a warning, but I've been in here for too long. Um, 
But yeah, I, I'm gonna assume this... Wow, he just... I'm gonna assume this is going to the office. It's very difficult. Like, uh, I'm recording for 20 minutes. Wait, what? Oi. I'm gonna have to skip ahead until I just learn where shit goes. I'm just failing miserably. Fuck me. Tear? I can't see shit. I wasn't in the closet because the kid was too stressed and it was it was too dark and he if the red circle gets filled up he does he gets out of the closet where he's hiding I think oi always shut doors back after he busts open even if you have to go out you should be able to peek out of the doors if I'm trying to leave my room jeez if I try to leave the room, he could be on the other side of the door without me even knowing. Unless you just use audio as the sign. I don't know, but either way, this is fucking difficult. Okay. So I can hide in here? No. Where the fuck can I hide if I'm here? In pizza boxes. I'm gonna assume like recycling's maybe in the garage. Oh Jesus Christ. He's still fucking lingering. What an asshole. Oh Jesus. You're just here, asshole. Move, kid, what the fuck? I got a pizza box in my room. What's wrong with this thing? Really? How many times do I hit the fucking... How many times do I have to spam? Unless it's like... <sighs> they, they told me in the fucking hint. Hit... You have a certain amount of seconds to turn off the noise maker. If you fail to do it in time, he will come running. I rushed as fast as possible, spammed and hit it, and it just didn't work, and I spammed it 20 times and it still didn't work. You're saying I wasn't fucking fast enough or something? Fucking Christ. Uh, it's getting frustrating. Normal difficulty. I, I gotta find out like this paper office office ah that was right toy can do these go in the garage ah that was right okay Toy? Toy? Ah, oh, jeez. But yeah, so the game is really fucking hard. Um, maybe more than it really needs to be. Does he see me if I peek those my clothes?
At least we get a checkpoint, that is if I can actually stop dying. There's absolutely no way for me to turn it off. It, it, I, I spam the off button and it doesn't work. Whatever. I don't know. I just have to keep trying. <sighs> they tell me to push the fucking off button, turn it off in time, but then you, just, you, you spam the power button. It doesn't fucking do jack shit. Uh, like, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? Markers. Just the thing is, just... Don't stay in a room for too long. Two more things, and I get a checkpoint. No! Jesus. Two more things! So that's how fast I have to be? I have to be standing next to every single thing that fucking uh, fucks up on me? I think you need get more time. Okay. Kids slapping feet. No, oh, jeez. I don't... I don't know, man. No! No. Fucking really. Did I get six or did I get seven? You need a tutorial to show where the fuck everything is. God damn it. I think I was at the brink of a checkpoint or I got the checkpoint. Oh, he shut doors, yeah. Thanks. If I knew how to turn off every single pine so I know which... I, I don't think I got a checkpoint, for fuck's sakes. Like, I, I don't want to shit on the game or just be complaining the entire time. I'm sure people know what the fuck is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. But, you know, it's really fucking annoying. Like, this thing... Turn it off? It should be just... Once. I'm hoping maybe if I try again, I'll try only hitting it once, and hopefully it listens. It just takes a while for it to register, I don't know. Oh, for fuck. I think he's just gonna slam it open. Nope. He's faster, though. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if you just... Spamming is not needed, I only need to hit it once, but being how urgent it is, you do want to turn it off as fast as possible, but do I have to hit the button once? When the garage door opens, how do I stop it? How do I stop the noise from happening? The game doesn't tell you these things, and they're kind of fucking important. So making safe to die 50 times, trial and error, is probably not the best way of handling this. See you. Nope, never mind.
Okay, so if I just run around in circles, I don't need to go in rooms. I just need to lose them by running around in circles. That's fine. I'm gonna try to do as many dishes as possible. Maybe I got to it in time. But yeah, I, I would definitely love... Like, being able to hide under the kitchen table should be should be possible. That's where I left this. But yeah, um, th there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, I can see. Um, yeah, tutorial to free roam the house before playing for real, just so you know where the fuck things are. Like, even Night Blights did that. Where it's like, hey, if the garage... If, like, hey, if this happens, you have to do this as soon as possible. Hey, if a Night Blight shows up here, it's gonna kill your sister if you do not do... X or Y. In this game, it's just like, hey, the garage's door op is opening. It's go it's gonna it's gonna come over and kill you, and then you can't hide for too long because. Uh, fucking hell. And then with the power out, ah, uh, I just gotta get out of here. There's so much. Ah. Uh, Staying in a room as a death trap is what I can at least uh, surmise. Because power goes out, you get stuck in a room. Hi hiding in a closet is just, I, I don't like doing that. It it's a death trap. Fuck. I peeked for a second. Apparently he's just standing there at the closet. Fuck me. Ugh, I'm, I'm just gonna still try though. Um, vacuum man will sometimes go into aggression mode when he is faster and harder to avoid. Watch out. Thanks. But yeah, tutorial would have been fantastic instead of having me die a billion times and telling me the hint after dying. Uh. Free roam tutorial to show me where the fuck things go, how the fuck things work, how to stop things, uh, how to stop things from happening, and, uh, the meter thing. I'm gonna say it's broken, I, I don't, like, man, we, we see, we see how the cursor works in, you know, fucking hand-holding games like Call of Duty, and they point you where the fuck you have to go, uh, so it's hard to misread something as basic as a fucking arrow, but in this game... In this game, apparently, it's just confusing and broken. I don't know, man. Kind of maybe assume I have to. I I don't know how I don't I don't I don't know how to fix this. Ah. Never mind. This. So we learn now the doorbell looking thing. Oh jeez, um. Well, I don't know how he didn't see me, Jesus Christ. But hey, there we go, we learned the garage thing. I would've loved if it was free room, though. And it just, I learn... Anyways, I'll skip ahead until I get the checkpoint and stop complaining. I don't think he saw me. That's where I left this. was how he was not even <sighs> mm. 
It's fucking sketch, man. Fuck it. Uh, here I said I wouldn't complain. The only... I think, also, the stress of hiding in a dark place needs to not be as fucking aggressive. You're getting in a dark place, you barely have time. I don't know, fuck it. Alright, apparently I got 13 objects. I actually think I did get the checkpoint. But he's more pissed off now. So at least I'm like halfway done. I'm not sure if it's two hours based on difficulty or content or just after I maybe put 21 objects away, there's more to the game. Alright. One more and I'll get a second checkpoint though. Shit's getting a little more surreal. I think he's around this corner though. Yep. Come on. Whoop. Shit. Should have been going towards the office. As long as he doesn't see me. Boom! Checkpoint! But my stamina is fucked up because of the laundry machine, even though I'm not near it. Alright, I don't know. Good, uh, good progress. Just had to. He's just gonna get more and more aggressive, though, and, uh, I'm just gonna have to keep... Basically, just... Hmm. Have fun with that. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just, uh... When he gets more aggressive... I'll also close this door. More aggressive, I'll show some more, but I'm gonna get to 21. Two, three, four. Okay, four bangs. Or four knocks and he comes in. I'm in yellow mode, though. What? Oh no. Oh no! Flashlight? Oh, jeez. Oh, at least I have something to protect me, uh, so it's not, so it's not that bad. A flashlight means, uh, the kid's not uber scared, but, uh, still, yeah. Huh? Do, do you mind? Jesus. Yeah. Let's hope to get to 21. Nope. Ah, uh, let's take this. Whew. One more. But the toy will get to 21. Kicked open some other door. Mm. 
Is he in my room? Yeah, 21. Thank you for playing the Vaculus demo. Jesus! The full version with much more gameplay and story content will be coming to Steam, possibly other platforms, 2020, December, or... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know what would happen then if I do hard mode, but Jesus Christ. But that was hard for normal mode, presuming me clicking on normal really was normal. Um, but again, yeah, there's a bunch of things I'd say really, really needs to get patched up uh, that, that I would dispute. I'll, I'll wait for the credits to go by. Okay, so. For those who have mastered the gameplay and are ready for a challenge, yeah, nah, then. Okay, so. A few things, I guess. Arrow guide, I can't see how it's not broken. Because it would twist and turn and not precisely, like, as I showed when I was looking at the one door and the arrow's pointing that door, if I rotated left, the arrow would no longer, you know, be locked to the fucking door. It was going wherever the fuck it wanted to. There's no way I can see it not being broken. It is a demo, yes. And as, uh, let's see the store page, hold on. I turned everything off just so it wouldn't drain the whole OBS being laggy and whatnot. Okay, but it's been working for two in the works for two years, so having a broken arrow is kind of strange to me. But um, okay, the things I would suggest: a free mode and/or tutorial of getting to know the layout of the house, knowing what if like. Like, I would think how Knight's Blights did it was something that was like, it wasn't too much hand-holding. It just, it would introduce you to the new mechanics and tell you how to avoid dying. Um, like, what was? I'm trying to remember. Like, if the garage door opens too much, then you have to make sure you can jump up as a little child and push the garage door. And to do that, you need to stack chairs or stools or whatnot to be able to hit the garage door. Because if the garage door opens too much, the night blights kill you. If the fridge door opens too much, it kills you. If the fireplace's fire gets snuffed out too much, it, they kill you. And, and there's just so many ways everyone can die in your household. You know, like, night blights under the beds, you need to feed them toys. They would tell you what you need to do to survive ahead of time. In this game, it's just garage door opening. Well, you probably die. We won't tell you how to fix it. There's uh, obviously for the garage door, there's the light cue, but I didn't see it. Um, I'm also used to garage doors, uh, garage door buttons being close to the garage rather than in a weird location like that. But that's besides the point. Uh, a tutorial free roam would be fantastic because then like you as a kid you can roam around the house and be like oh here's the garage and then the little floaters can be like this is where you put shit like the recycling this is where the recycling bin is and you know if the garage door starts going crazy for whatever and here's the garage button button fucking button and I don't know just then uh, besides that free roam house tutorial a not broken arrow guide. Um, make it so you don't go so fucking batshit scared in the dark. Uh, just way too quickly, I, I would argue. Um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, when things go weird and crazy, like the, the fucking radio in the kids' room, how many times that to spam touch it is kind of a little relentless. Maybe it's just like you only need to push it once. Um, I don't know, but either way, that, that, those are basically my suggestions, because otherwise it's very frustrating having it so you die repeatedly just because of a lack of information. But that isn't to say, like, a lack of information can be a bad thing, like, you think of it like Dark Souls, you're not fed anything, you're just thrown in there, they don't tell you, hey, this enemy attacks you like this, you know? So it's not like I'm saying, I just want people to misconstrue of, uh, Lack of information can be both a blessing and a curse, depending on the genre of the game and depending on the style that it's used as a mechanic. In this, you should know things, because to be punished by death and game overs because of a lack of information, it feels... Unlike Dark Souls, it just feels unnecessarily uh, obnoxious. 
but that's just my opinion. So uh, let me know if your thoughts below, uh, your feedback to the developer. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, if the game comes out similarly in quality as Night Blights, I would say it's a good game. Uh, I will reserve judgment to the full game. But otherwise, I wouldn't say it's a bad game, obviously. But it needs a lot of work. Um, because like, it reminds me a lot about Night Blights, and Night Blights was like one of the first games that did well on my channel a long time ago. It was like the very first game, the very first horror game that sub boosted my channel, because a lot of people loved that game, and I was I was one of the best at it, and I was the king of Night Blights until someone beat my leaderboard challenge, and and then the leaderboard stopped working, and the developer hasn't fixed it ever since. So I was there's no way for me to to uh, challenge the new. King of Night Blights, which was a random person I don't even think even owned a YouTube channel. But anyway, that's besides the point again. I hope you enjoyed this game and look forward to possibly more from it. I hope the developer uh, doesn't get upset by my frustration, blah blah blah. But if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big my fluff scarber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching and until the next time.